how the handloom sector, the second largest employer in India, can be revived. From enhancing the awareness of weavers of the sales process to setting up handloom institutes, various upgrades in the handloom sector will help revive the centuries-old industry. In this episode, we will look at the various steps that can be taken to rejuvenate the sector. But first, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such content in the future. Push the bell icon to receive updates every time we upload a video. While it is true that the handloom sector plays a vital role in the Indian economy, the industry needs to be revived for it to continue. The handloom industry ranks second in providing employment after the agricultural sector. An article published on Business Line mentions the following. According to Handloom Census 2019-20, the handloom sector creates around 35 lakh of direct employment. In our country, गरीब से गरीब लोगों को रोजगार देने की ताकत एग्रीकल्चर के बाद किसी एक सेक्टर में है तो वो है टेक्सटाइल हैंडलूम खादी विविंग ये जो काम है उसकी सबसे बड़ी ताकत है इफ अदर इंडस्ट्री स्टेक होल्डर्स आर कंसिडर्ड अदर textile manufacturers, fashion designers, etc., this number will be much higher as because it includes other textile, making this the second largest source of employment for rural population after agriculture. Problems in the handloom sector Ineffective policies and the disintegrated nature of the sector have resulted in several problems. One of the major problems of the industry is wages. Almost 67% of the weavers make less than 5,000 a month. The problem with low income has resulted in skilled weavers leaving the sector to join other industry with better pay. While it is true that several government policies provide benefits and incentives to the weavers, more needs to be done to revive the sector. Suggestions the handloom sector is one of the largest industries in the country spread across geographical locations. Any policy that is created to address the problems in the industry must follow the following criteria. The weavers must be made aware of the business process, sales and finance. A central network of weavers must be created through which they can get vital information. Weavers should be aware of consumers' demands. We will have to leave it at that today due to time constraints. We will focus more on the topic in our next episode. How did you find this information? Please mention this in the comment section. We would also like to know the kind of content you want to watch and we will try to create it for you. For more news and updates, follow Air News.